to Mount Everest, where gridlock on top of the mountain may be to blame for at least nine deaths just this year there. It was the single deadliest accident ever on Mount Everest. It's no news that Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth, as it towers as high as 29,000 feet above sea level. What is not common, however, is the terrifying discoveries that are hidden in this mountain situated at the Mahalangur Himal Subranj of the Himalayas. Spreading all the way to either side of Tibet and Nepal, Mount Everest contains unsolved mysteries that have left many confused. What could be lurking behind this mountain? What secrets do the world's tallest mountain hold? Join us as we expose 17 discoveries of Mount Everest that scare even scientists. Secret 17. The Mystery of Mallory and Irvine. It is popularly believed that Sir Edmund Hillary was the first to climb to the top of Mount Everest in 1953. What if it wasn't Sir Hillary who first went up to Mount Everest? What if you've believed a lie all along? Well, you've actually believed a lie because two Englishmen named George Mallory and Sandy Irvine have already stood on Mount Everest in 1924. They were last captured on Mount Everest by the geologist Noel O'Dell, who filmed them with a telescope from afar as two tiny black dots. Odell noted that both men seemed to be going strong and he felt that they would eventually make it to the summit, that is the highest distance on Mount Everest above sea level, the very pinnacle of the mountain. The men were only 100 feet from the summit of the mountain when they were last seen. So it was a mystery why they never came back or made it to the top of the mountain. George Mallory wasn't a novice to mountain climbing. He was an expert climber who had climbed Mount Everest twice. He did it first as part of the British Reconnaissance Expedition in 1921. This expedition succeeded in mapping the entire area around the mountain. Mallory also made history as the first Westerner to see the Western Slope. And it was then and there he realized that if climbers were going to make it to the top of the mountain at such altitudes, then oxygen masks were a necessity. Unlike Mallory, who has proven himself time and time again as a high-altitude climber, Sandy Irvine was only skillful at repairing and handling the oxygen equipment used by British climbers to get to high altitudes. Irvine had no experience in mountain climbing, but Mallory saw his skill of repairing the oxygen apparatus as crucial to reaching the mountain summit. So, it was a no-brainer that Mallory chose Irvine as his climbing partner for the expedition. Setting out for the expedition with five porters and a guide, the guide stayed back surveying the mountain until he witnessed a snowstorm approaching Mallory and Irvine. Quickly, he shouted at both men to come back, but that was the last time he saw them. Searching for both of them the next day, their camps were found empty save for two sleeping bags that were arranged in a T-shape. It was in 1999 that the body of Mallory was found, but that wasn't enough to solve the mystery surrounding his death. His camera, which he loaned from Howard Somerville, was nowhere to be found. At least the camera could have proved that they reached the mountaintop. The only clue to reveal that he reached the summit was that he promised his wife, Ruth, that he'd leave behind her photo at the top of Mount Everest. Before scaling the mountain, he safely tucked the photo in his inner pocket. But it wasn't with him when he passed on. Secret 16 Strange Phenomena at Mount Everest Ghost-like figures and weird apparitions have been reported to be seen by climbers on their way to the top of Mount Everest. Pemba Dorja is a Sherpa who claims to have made the fastest ascent to the mountain in 2004, under 12 hours and 45 minutes. While ascending the mountain, he confessed to seeing dark figures from nowhere stretching out their hands upwards as if seeking help. He's convinced that those were spirits of dead climbers who couldn't make it to the top and were trapped in a limbo somewhere between life and death. Locals and climbers of Mount Everest have later admitted to sensing cold touches, seeing lights, and hearing fearful voices. Could these paranormal activities be a result of hallucinations caused by a shortage of oxygen and unfavorable weather conditions? Or these sightings are truly supernatural? Secret 15. The Zone of No Return. There's a region of Mount Everest that's 8,000 meters above the ground that climbers famously refer to as the zone of no return. 
It contains thin air that doesn't support life, making climbers struggle to breathe despite having enough oxygen masks. It's from this height of the mountain that deaths and fatalities usually happen when climbing. Also referred to as the death zone, the zone of no return is a place where only the bravest or the foolhardy mountain enthusiasts tread. Secret 14. Ugly Attack from Sherpas Most people climbing Mount Everest look forward to getting nearer to heaven, expecting a divine experience because of the closeness of the summit to the clouds. This admirable experience wasn't the same for John Griffiths, a seasoned mountaineer, who went up to the mountain with two of his friends. Their journey turned from a supposedly divine experience into a hellish disaster as they were attacked by angry Sherpas who stood in their way adamantly. Being natives of Nepal, these Sherpas threatened the lives of these mountain climbers. Sherpas live on Mount Everest, and so they've developed superhuman endurance for high altitudes, and they wouldn't tolerate any foreigner or mountain climber disrespecting their culture and traditions, as they accused Griffith and his men of doing. Griffith wrongly thought their offense was a minor one, but the situation deteriorated when 100 Sherpas gathered together with stones and sticks, attacking them with scarves mercilessly. Reasoning with them proved useless, as Griffith soon realized, and if not for the timely intervention of brave climbers from Camp 2, Griffith and his men would have died because they were outnumbered and easily overpowered. One of the heroic climbers from Camp 2 was a woman who climbed Everest four times, Melissa Arnott. Having known the Sherpas for a while, she knew that Griffith and his friends were on dangerous grounds and warned them to leave immediately. They heeded her advice and fled for their lives as they abandoned their dreams of reaching the top of Everest. Secret 13, Weird Sounds. Those living around Mount Everest dread the setting of the sun because at night, a sharp and loud noise reverberates through the mountain as it echoes far and wide. To the locals, it feels as if the mountain is alive and angry, seeking to be heard as it voices out its plans for revenge. A veteran climber who has climbed to the top of Everest 15 times was the first to report this strange noise at night. He claimed to have seen huge lumps of ice and snow falling from the highest heights in the mountain as they crashed thunderously into the ground. The sound was so disturbing that he couldn't sleep at all. Scientists have cleared the mystery behind this sound as they discovered that the ice starts to crack and glaciers start breaking whenever the sun sets and night comes. Falling from impossibly high heights, the ice falls headlong with a deafening noise. Scientists and researchers attribute this to the melting of glaciers due to climate change. Secret 12, Yeti Footprints. Footprints larger than that of humans were found on the surface of Mount Everest. An expert mountaineer, Eric Shipton, happened to come across this gigantic footprint in 1951. At somewhere around 15,000 to 16,000 feet on Mount Everest, Shipton spotted a couple of strange footprints on the snow of Menlung Basin. Since he didn't have a measuring tool right there, he measured the two-legged footprint with his companion's left boot. Shipton then took a couple of photographs of the boot next to the footprint to see how wide the footprint was from that of a human foot. According to Ward, the footprint was two times wider than a human foot. The toes were distorted, and the big toe seemed lower than how a human toe should be positioned, and also bigger. And that leads us to the question, if the footprint indeed belonged to a human, how could they walk barefooted at such freezing temperature? Scientists have been trying to solve the mystery of these Yeti footprints using DNA analysis and new innovations in technology without conclusive results. What's surprising about the results gathered from scientists after a series of research and tests was that the nearby fur found by Shipton didn't match any known animal. That fur belonged to a species of animal that had never been seen before. Could this fur belong to the Yeti, a mythical creature that's rumored to live in the Himalayan mountains? This mystery remains far from being solved. Secret 11, most terrifying day. Ever a mountaineer, Jim Davidson related the most terrifying day of his life when he climbed Mount Everest in 2015. 
He was among the climbers at Camp 1 when a colossal earthquake of 7.8 magnitude severely rocked the mountain, taking the lives of 18 people on the mountain and 9,000 others living in Nepal and neighboring countries. Davidson recounted that day as the scariest day of his life. He was trapped for 11 days in the mountain, and he devoted that time to helping other victims before he later survived the earthquake. The trauma from this scary earthquake was enough to make a regular mountaineer quit, but not the 50-year-old Davidson. Burning with unrelenting passion for reaching the summit, he made his way back to Mount Everest a year later after subjecting himself to training for 12 hours daily. It was no surprise that he finally achieved his dream when he stood at the very top of Mount Everest. From that vantage point, he texted his wife, telling her that I am standing on top of the world, the highest point on earth. Secret 10, wildlife. Wildlife isn't the first thing that flashes through your mind when your thoughts wander to Mount Everest. Despite the high altitude that seems terribly unsuitable for life, the random extremes of weather and the harsh environmental conditions of the mountain, climbers have made a shocking discovery that wild animals actually thrive on Mount Everest. As high as 29,029 feet, there are creatures such as the Himalayan jumping spiders, whose bodies have undergone an evolution that made them resilient to withstand the mountain's harsh conditions. In 1924, a British expedition encountered a rare specimen of unique grasshoppers as high as 6,700 feet on Mount Everest. It isn't only small creatures that survive in these unfavorable conditions. Bigger predators like the slippery snow leopard and the Himalayan tar, a horned mammalian creature specially adapted to rocky cliffs, freely move up and down the slopes of Mount Everest. At the base of the mountain, you'll find Himalayan black bears who've claimed that area as theirs, and they sometimes share space with the Himalayan tar. At the lower levels of the mountain lives the rare red panda that looks a lot like a binturong. These large predators avoid the mountain's top and have seemed to adapt fully to living in a hazardous area like Mount Everest. Secret 9. Russians' Expedition Way before Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing soared atop Mount Everest in 1953, a secret Soviet expedition went on a journey to reach the summit from the north in 1952. Their mission was to mount the pictures of Stalin and Lenin on the top of the world as a bold mark of national dominance. They bravely scaled the mountain and last camped at 26,000 feet on the mountain. Sadly, they never made it back. Even the Soviet authorities shamefully denied the existence of these men who sacrificed their lives to stamp the honor of the Soviets on the roof of the world. The only thing that left a clue to the existence of this expedition was an article written by Evgeny Gibbonwriter in Alpine Journal. It was published in 1953. Their disappearance was a mystery, and it wasn't until 2017 that a terrifying discovery was made of their whereabouts. While on the search for a Slovak climber who passed away from altitude sickness, a rescue team stumbled on four dead bodies in a tent at the fourth camp. No climber had been declared missing that year by official agencies, so who were these men? The Nepalese Ministry of Tourism offered an explanation as to how the corpses got there, saying that they were a team from the previous year's expedition. This was a feeble explanation that couldn't explain why they weren't reported or searched for. Climbers do not just go missing without a trace, and those who return after suddenly vanishing are either investigated or remembered. To this day, these Soviet expeditions remain mysterious, and no one can tell if the four bodies actually belong to them. Secret 8. Julius Stirk, popularly revered as the Swiss Machine, Julius Stirk achieved legendary status in the world of mountaineering due to his exceptional mountain climbing prowess. Expected of someone with his massive potential, Stirk nursed a dream of being the first to climb Mount Everest from both sides in one single stroke. This wasn't just a wishful dream as he has a solid track record behind him of conquering different peaks that normal mountaineers dared not climb, with one of them being Mountain Annapurna. Stirk holds a number of speed records for his climbing skills, and he has a ton of awards to his name owing to his courage. When climbing, he moved with a swiftness and grace 
that made him maneuver his way through difficult paths easily. His unusual approach and mind-blowing results earned him a revered respect from his peers. In April 2017, Julius Sterk encountered a fatal accident on the western part of the standard route leading to the summit of Everest. He didn't make it out alive, and his gifted abilities died with him. He had gone through this route before, so it was a wonder why a climber of his pedigree succumbed to such an accident. It was said that he lost his balance and fell over 300 yards to his death. To this day, speculations are going on as to what caused his accident. Could it be a slippery snow or an inadequate supply of oxygen? We will never know because Julius Sterk's climbing partner stood too far away to see what could have happened. They only brought the lifeless body of this mountaineering giant, and it was a sad loss for climbers. Secret 7. Gigantic Poop no one would ever expect the glorious Mount Everest to hide something as dirty as a large area of human waste. This could pose a serious health risk to the climbers because thousands of visitors troop onto Mount Everest and leave something more than just their footprints. You wouldn't believe that tourists produce an unbelievable 12,000 pounds of poop as their parting gifts with the majestic Mount Everest. Unfortunately, these giant-sized poop have only one way to go and they slowly slip down to the foot of the mountain. The absence of a human waste disposal system adds to this environmental crisis, and mountain climbers won't take the waste down with them, as they want nothing to do with it. Since there are no toilets or adequate plumbing systems to take care of it, poops end up in landfills, open pits, and dumps, effectively contaminating the soil and making the water sources unusable. Lots of people have fallen sick from just drinking the contaminated water before reaching their base camp. Even the locals who host tourists at villages located in the lower plains of the mountain also suffer from a suitable human waste disposal system. Without the financial might and infrastructure to contain the influx of tourists and their accompanying poop, the locals silently watch the famed mountain metamorphose into a giant dumpster. If it continues at this rate, the aesthetic appeal and diverse life forms of the mountain will keep dropping in quality until it comes to complete ruin. Secret 6. Rainbow Valley Mainstream images of Mount Everest depict a beautiful mountain covered in glistening white snow and ice. Beyond this popular site is a region of Mount Everest that's full of rainbow colors. On the surface, this colorful rainbow valley might look to be a place of fun, happiness, and wonder. But it is not. It is a gloomy area that stands as a mortuary for dead climbers whose bodies are preserved in freezing temperatures. The rainbow colors are reflected from their jackets, which stand in sharp comparison against the snowy white background, as a stern yet persistent reminder of the dangers of climbing the world's tallest mountain. The Rainbow Valley is understandably in the region of the death zone, where the weather doesn't support life and the air is painfully thin. The beauty and horror of Mount Everest are vividly displayed at the same time when you stand on the Rainbow Valley. Secret 5. Marine Fossils NASA made a groundbreaking discovery confirming the presence of marine fossils at the very top of Mount Everest. Scientists have been scared because of this new finding, because how can something from the water go as high as Everest's summit? What tough and strange marine creature could that be? People have their personal convictions regarding this discovery. One school of thought debates that this gives validation to the biblical flood story in the book of Genesis, while others remain mildly doubtful of the presence of these marine fossils on the highest point of Everest. NASA has a different view regarding this. They argue that these marine fossils lend credence to the scientific theory of plate tectonics. NASA insists that Everest was once covered in an ocean, and the formation of Everest comes from tectonic plates that shifted over 100 million years. Different beliefs from different orientations. What about you? What do you believe about these marine fossils? Do you go with the biblical flood, or you'll pitch your tent with NASA's story spanning 100 million years ago? Secret 4. The Chronicle of Maurice Wilson Maurice Wilson is a soldier who has always been a strong believer in prayer and fasting. 
as he narrated that these disciplines helped in curing his sickness in 1932. Invigorated by the supernatural manifestation of healing in his life, his faith drove him to climb Mount Everest in 1934 in spite of his obvious lack of mountaineering experience. He had a firm belief in divine assistance and preservation to get to the summit of Mount Everest. And so he started his ascension up the mountain, reaching incredible heights of 23,000 feet until he met a great ice wall that blocked his movements. Some Sherpas who followed him wholeheartedly advised him to retreat now before it was too late. But it fell on the deaf ears of the religious Wilson, who was zealous to prove the preservative power of his deity. Maurice Wilson then stooped to write the following words in his diary. This will be a last effort. Undaunted by the obstruction ahead of him, he forged on to the highest heights of the mountain until the weight of exhaustion crippled him in his tent a few days later and he helplessly gave up the ghost. Secret 3. The Guardian Angel Two British climbers, Dougal Haston and Doug Scott, got to the summit of Mount Everest in 1975. The good news was that they reached the top of Everest, but the bad news was that they reached there too late. They had to spend the night at the death zone, where the air was thin and cold, and the weather was anti-life. Having no oxygen, water, or food, and a failing heater, they desperately dug a hole in the snow hoping to keep warm and make it till the next day. Even they had a knowing that they were finished and their end was near. But then, the strangest thing happened. Right there in the hole, they began sensing another personality with them. This invisible person gave off a warm and friendly aura. Before they could grow accustomed to the presence, the mysterious being started speaking words that would keep their spirits alive and also gave them tips on how to survive. A grateful feeling of relief washed over them as they realized they weren't alone and they weren't going to die after all. Other climbers have experienced this strange presence before and they now fondly regard it as their guardian angel. Secret 2. The Vanishing Snowboarder there was a skilled snowboarder who was known to dare unimaginable things and defy the odds. His name was Marco Sifredi. He did the unthinkable by standing at the top of Everest and snowboarding down to the base. He successfully passed the dangerous Norton Couloir, a steep slope on the north of Everest, in two hours. Unsatisfied and fueled with a thirst for more, he set out to conquer the Hornbein Couloir, a dangerous route that hadn't been traveled before. The next year, he began snowboarding over Hornbein Couloir after ignoring the warnings of the Sherpas, who detected a change in the weather, along with his tiredness. He mounted his snowboard over Hornbein Couloir and disappeared into thin air without a trace, leaving the Sherpas wondering if he was tossed away by an avalanche. Secret 1. Over 200 dead bodies Mount Everest has opened its mouth to swallow more than 200 dead bodies of climbers who lost their lives in the hopes of standing on the top of the world. Many of the bodies are still preserved and frozen as a warning to every one of the horrors of Everest. Anyone who is brave enough to climb will eventually see some of these bodies. One of the most recognized bodies is that of Tsawang Paljor, known because of the color of his boots. Fondly called Green Boots, he died in a terrible storm in 1996, and his remains are still visible near the summit to this day. Whenever the snow doesn't cover him, the climbers spot him and have to cross over his legs if they're to reach their dream destination. Paljor's body has now become a reliable landmark that climbers use to assess how close they are to the summit. One of the veteran climbers once admitted that 80% of climbers stop to rest where green boots lay because it's hard to miss the man lying there. Aside from the discoveries on Everest that scares you, here's a new discovery that'll lighten your mood. The James Webb Space Telescope has just launched its brand new JWST Special Edition phone case, and you can easily get it by clicking the link on the screen or following the link in the description. Thanks for watching to the end to see the terrifying discoveries hidden in Mount Everest 
that scare even scientists. Don't forget to drop your thoughts on them and subscribe to our channel.